Today, in this video I'm going to talk about Canada Immigration New Update. I'm going to talk about travelers must be fully vaccinated to enter Canada starting January 15th. If you are interested in this topic please watch till the end of this video for latest immigration updates and news. Please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. Let's get into the video. Travelers to Canada will now have to be fully vaccinated in order to enter to country, some exempt travelers may still enter, but will be subject to testing, quarantine, and other public health measures. Canada already required non-essential travelers from foreign countries to be vaccinated, starting today, January 15, essential travelers must also be fully vaccinated in order to enter the country, which includes family members of Canadians, permanent residents, and people registered under the Indian Act, international students age 18 and older, athletes, work permit holders, except for those working in agriculture and food processing, and essential service providers, including truckers. Canadian citizens and permanent residents cannot be denied entry into Canada, however, unvaccinated Canadians will need to meet the pre-entry, arrival, day 8 testing, and quarantine requirements, unvaccinated or partially vaccinated foreigners will only be allowed to travel to Canada if they meet an exemption. Some of the exempt groups include agricultural and food processing workers, marine crew members, people coming to Canada on compassionate grounds, new permanent residents, resettling refugees, and some children under age 18. Travelers who are exempt from needing to be fully vaccinated will still be subject to testing, quarantine, and other entry requirements. Foreign nationals who are not vaccinated and do not fall under an exemption will be prohibited from entering Canada. People who have COVID-19 symptoms upon arrival at the border will be directed to a Public Health Agency of Canada PHAC official and will be told to isolate for 10 days from the time symptoms first occurred. Border officers make the final decision on who can enter the country and whether incoming travelers have to quarantine. Canada originally announced the vaccination requirement on travelers in November, the same time the government expanded its definition of fully vaccinated, to be considered fully vaccinated, travelers must have received the full recommended dose of an approved vaccine. The final dose must have been administered at least 14 days before attempting to enter Canada, travelers also must submit all required COVID-19 information to arrive CAN before crossing the border. Canada's government-approved vaccines include AstraZeneca, Covishield, CH Adox-1S, Vaxevria, AZD-1222. Barat Biotech, Covaxin, BBV-152A, B, C. Janssen, Johnson & Johnson. Moderna, mRNA-1273. Pfizer-BioNTech, Comirnaty, Tozanamarin, BNT-162B2. Sinopharm BIBP, BBIBP Core V. Sinovac, Coronavac, Picovac. At this time, it is not required to have a booster dose to be considered fully vaccinated in Canada. Hopefully the details and information is presented in this video is helpful. Canada Immigration News Channel will be releasing a new video when new information is available on any of these updates or requirements. If you have not subscribed, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click on that notifications bell icon. See you sooner in next new immigration video. Okay, BYY.